and back with Vampire. We are probably on our last set here. We are going into the hive. I suspect everyone there is infected and that our good deed from earlier has blown up in our face. And we're probably going to have to carve a bloody path through everyone there. It's locked, all right. I thought I opened that. I did not, apparently. This should still be good for me to walk through. Maybe. I'm trying to remember how I did it so long ago. Uh, I think just walk across. So I think Harriet has succeeded in infecting all the skulls here. So the big speech about how we could all live in peace and harmony is um, wasn't true and isn't going to be true. So we have our spooky music starting up. But I'm probably about the second scariest thing in here. Does that, Harriet probably has me beat? Yeah, nothing. More rats. We just got our achievement for eating 10 rats. I didn't even know that was an achievement. It's not really an achievement. We can just push buttons to get it pretty simply. Okay. Uh, what's her name has probably been consumed already by the disease. That one is below us. Nicholas, that's Pirwin guy, so he made it pretty far. Um, what's the point of this room? Did I go the wrong way? Can't go this way. This is gonna be another set of me just wandering around aimlessly until I find it. Where could it possibly be? No, it's gotta be this way. Uh, oh, for a mini map, there isn't one here. No, it just shows me off to the side. Okay, that's above. Maybe I did want. Yeah, that's right. This is where I fought. Uh, what's his face? So this should be in the way. Yeah, it's going down. We should be the correct direction. Constantly pinging things because I have a feeling we're going to get ambushed. Not that that won't prevent the game from just spawning things on me, as we've seen in previous sets, but. Should be getting relatively close. Yeah, this is just about where the skulls are at. Close. Spring. That's up. Um, okay, back around. His shoes have gotten a workout. Okay, this is where they were at. Yeah, all that blood's this a puzzle. Place has been ransacked. Yep, that's a lot of blood. They've all been slaughtered. Pre one. No, not their style. I don't see bodies, so I don't know what he's talking about. There they are. Harriet was in here. I suspect she's not anymore. Where has Harriet gone? She must have left a trail I could follow. Okay. Probably follow the blood. It's might be that way. Because the other way is out. Though that is a possibility. Well, that was a baby crying. That's disconcerting. Who are you? Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. Have you seen any horribly mutated person here? You still can. 
can't really. Or go investigate somewhere else. And leave me be. I beg your pardon. I said go. Leave me alone, sir. All right. I don't really care to be bothered. Is that the last person from the docks? Yep. That was the last person. So, uh, hmm. That's where he was at. So he's probably... Harriet is probably not this way because he's in that direction. Sewer so skulls. Oh, nothing that resembles a trail. This is supposed to be on. Maybe that's the blood trail I'm supposed to follow. Yeah, we'll find out. Going this way. I don't recall seeing this coming up. Yeah, I don't recall seeing this coming up. This must have just spawned in. Where is old Bridget? Damn. If I'd come earlier, they would still be alive. No guarantee. They might have been dead for a while. And there is uh, our creator. Take not a step further, child, for you are unprepared. You, at last. I wondered when you would show your face again. Step away. We have nothing to discuss. Desist, child. You cannot confront the monstrosity unleashed upon this land without due preparation. I shall not allow it. I have it. All right. But no more riddles. Enough of the obscure songs and prophecies. I ask questions, and you answer them. My words have been as clear as crystal lakes, my child. You seem unwilling to drink, to listen, to learn. I'm here to stop Harriet Jones. She is the original carrier. The well from which this corruption flows. I have heard you, but be wary. Harriet Jones's mind is no more. That was pretty obvious. She has metamorphosed into an apocalypse. Born from, drenched in, and driven by the blood of hate. What is the blood of hate? It is the curse of the goddess. It is the hunger in you. The need for blood. The will to strike and to punish. Hmm. Tell me about this disaster, creature. I know London fell victim to such a thing in 1666. A disaster is pure anger born through blood. Its name means bad star, for they only appear when our queen unleashes her unquenchable wrath upon the world. Huh. And who is this queen? She is the Red Goddess, the queen. Of blood. In my youth, a hundred lifetimes ago, she was worshipped as the Morrigan. She is my mother. She is yours, too. Morrigan, Morrigan is a... The Celtic goddess of war. Gaelic, technically. Is this a ruse of some kind? She has been worshipped in many forms throughout the ages. The true nature of the Red Queen is beyond your comprehension, eluding even mine. But know this, she is a vengeful mother. So the disaster is some sort of accident. A disease vampires carry dormant in their blood, waiting to emerge. That's your modern answer. But a disaster is at the same time both less and more. Tell me what it is then, in your own words. 
A disaster is the pure will of our queen. Whenever she dreams of walking this earth, she awakes in this putrid vessel. I only wish to know how to put an end to this epidemic. To perform an act so noble, you must protect yourself from its poisonous kiss, my child. I know. McCullum used such a serum when trying to kill me. However, I have produced a more efficacious version of the antidote. Your final task awaits you at the end of these tunnels. I've known for ages you were worthy of this challenge, my champion, Bittersweet. What will happen thereafter? What future awaits me beyond these dark tunnels? Your fate, my child, and the fate of this land. A disaster is about to enter this world to smite us all and teach us humility. You are our final hope. Not Will really all that then? clear, then. Once I've defeated this creature. Yes. The threat will dissipate like so much smoke. For you will have purified its source. And then what? What will become of me? How would I know? I am no god, and your fate is in your own hands. Your for you appearance looks a little different to that. You tricked me. My sister died for your schemes. I have brought suffering and tragedy into this world. I am not, nor will I ever be your champion. Very soon you'll come to know that sacrifice is sometimes necessary. I understand the grudge a child bears towards his father and mother. Be brave, my child. I have a feeling the dialogue changes here depending upon your actions. This is also the first time we've actually heard of um, the re the queen. Um, do I have the antidote? Just can I just use it? There we are. Okay. Um, final skulls. That's the boss arena. I can tell just by looking at it. Oh no, this is the boss arena. Okay. Can't be healthy either. My poor baby. I've been such a bad mother. But the Queen herself forgave me. Gave me another chance. Harriet, you must stop all of this. I can't let you infect anyone else. How dare you interfere with the Red Queen's plans, Doctor? How can you stop the course of nature? Well, that's just disgusting. Okay, there we are with the antidote. Haha, oh. -ha, you missed. She's level 35. Okay, she does not take much damage at all. Back out. I don't think I did that in time. This should be it. Okay. Oh, she's gonna explode. Cause they all explode. Okay. That was... Oh dear. Expecting this. 
Get out, get out, get out. Heal. Shadow Mist. Fortunately, she's mostly stable, so this actually tends to work really well. Oh, something hit me there. Oh, crap. She summons things, that's not fair. I got the shield up in time. Uh oh. Ow. Okay. Back out, back out. She's going to do something. Fortunately, I backed out. Fortunately, if I keep moving, she doesn't seem to be terribly difficult, and that mostly refunds me the cost. Ow. Okay, we're getting her down. Okay. Oh, she's gonna slow, she's gonna slow. Phase transition before I was ready. No, don't. I forgot I had that. Oh, I forgot I had the stun. No one could ever defeat you, mother of us all, for you are our every root and leaf. You've always been my most amazing. Then go back to sleep, my queen, and smile at us from your dreams. Did they feel my wrath? Have they suffered enough? More than ever, mother of us all. Until the next time. Until the next time. Okay. I was not expecting the Red Queen to pop up herself. I thought Harriet would be it, but... Um... Yeah, those boss fights didn't feel that difficult compared to like a lot of the other ones. You have put an end to this terrible menace. How convenient. Old Bridget. What are you doing here? This is my realm, Ekon. This is Suascal territory. But they were all massacred by the monstrosity that Harriet became. Others will come. Engendered by deceitful vampires. I don't mean you, of course. Hmm. I thought you'd been slaughtered with all the other sewer scars. I was up above, in search of help when Harriet suddenly turned into that thing. I have no idea what it was. It's over now. London is no longer shrouded in the disaster's shadow. We're all safe. Yes. You just have the old Spanish flu killing people. The end. I hope you'll forgive me for the way I treated you when first you presented yourself at our gate. No need to apologize, really. Perhaps there will be no stories told or songs sung of what's happened here today. But I'll know the truth. Jonathan Reed newborn vampire stepped forward and saved us all. I'm honored to be part of this city's legend. Thank you, old Bridget. May I ask you just one question? How could I refuse you anything now? I'll answer just as I answered Lady Ashbury when we met a few nights ago. Who are you? Really? I was born with the name Bridget Eleanor Wellington. 
In 1738, my beloved and immortal husband decided to preserve my beauty and youth forever by making me drink his blood. You were Lord Redgrave's wife. Then the pompous fool rejected you, did he not? It was about 200 years ago. I'm glad he remembers when Redgrave was turned. He's found me in time. And I sincerely hope it will find you too. Now that all is over. No, it's not over. I may have ended the vampire epidemic, but I still need answers from the woman I love. I feared you would say that. Go then, young Ekon, and face your fate. Just remember that I'll always be here for you. It's kind of a strange thing for her to say. We haven't really spoken that much. Unless the game is presuming we came back all the time and talked to her, but yeah. Uh, it was sort of anticlimactic. London has been cleansed. This catastrophe came about when an ancient malignant will crossed paths with mortal imprudence. For now, a little stutter there. For now, my craving for blood remains red like hate, red like hunger, red as life and death, passing from one immortal to another, from predator to victim. Patiently biding its time to rise again. London has been cleansed for now, but there's a simmering hatred, fear, and old grudges. When will we succumb, mortals and immortals alike? The next disaster is only a matter of time. My only hope now is to catch the woman I love, to understand why she fled and unmask the secret that has been lurking in her blood for so long. 